Hey everyone, I'm Patrick Smith from Greater Toronto Music School. And this is part one of our three part mini video lesson series on how to play the saxophone as a total beginner. If you like the video, please go ahead and give us a like and let us know what you think in the comments. If you're new to our channel, please hit subscribe so that you get notified when we release part two and part three of this video. All right, let's get into it. You've gotten your saxophone from the store, you've brought it home, you open up the case and you realize there's a bunch of parts. What do we do with them? Today we're gonna to talk about how to assemble the saxophone. So, first things first, I want you to take your mouthpiece out of the case. It should look like this. There will probably be a cap on it. Let's take the cap off put it over to the side. Let's also slide the ligature off. That's this thing. Put it over to the side so that you're just holding the black rubber, hard rubber mouthpiece. You'll notice the mouthpiece has a flat side here and a curvy side. We want the flat side on the bottom. That's where our reed is gonna go and that's where our bottom lip is gonna go. Our top teeth eventually are gonna sit here, but we'll get to that. Once you've navigated your mouthpiece so that the flat side is at the bottom, I want you to take a reed out of the reed case carefully and carefully put it in your mouth. Remember folks, the tip of the reed, the thin side is very fragile and we don't wanna crack it. So carefully put the reed in your mouth and wet it. Just wet it a little bit until the whole thing is nice and moist and that will help with the vibration of the saxophone. All right, once you've done that, you are going to carefully place the flat part of the reed on the flat side of the mouthpiece with the thin part of the reed at the top of the mouthpiece. So I don't wanna see this. I don't wanna see the reed upside down like this. Flat on flat, thin on thin. Match up the thin side of the reed with the thin tip of the mouthpiece. Once you've done that, carefully align the reed so that it is flush with the side rails and the tip rails. So if you look at mine, we don't want our reed over here. We don't want it over here. We don't want it up here. We don't want it down here. We want it to be nice and centered and flush with our mouthpiece. There we go. Once you've positioned it, carefully hold the reed onto the mouthpiece, re-navigate it so that the reed is on the bottom. Now I want you to grab your ligature. Once you've grabbed your ligature, take it, hold your mouthpiece like this with the point of it pointing towards you and carefully slide the ligature over top of the reed and the mouthpiece so that the screw or screws is on your right all right so i'm gonna hold it up the other way so you all can see that this is on the right side of the mouthpiece we don't want the ligature on backwards the screws should be on the right side once it's on give that screw just a little bit of a tightened it doesn't need to be too tight. Tighten it a little bit, and then the reed will be nicely held onto the mouthpiece by our ligature. Now we have it. Our mouthpiece, reed, and ligature all connected. Let's give it a little blow. If no sound comes out, don't worry. Just see if you can get a sound out of the mouthpiece. There we go. Next step. Go into your saxophone case and grab this. This is called the neck of the saxophone. Once you've got the neck, I want you to take your mouthpiece reed ligature combination and put it onto the cork of the neck. You'll see that the top, tip of the neck is covered with cork. So you're gonna slide it on and then twist, carefully twist the mouthpiece. It might take a little bit of force, just up until about halfway. If you're really having a hard time getting the mouthpiece onto the cork, in 
the case, you will find cork grease. You can throw a little bit of cork grease on the cork to help grease the mouthpiece on. Your mouthpiece in general should sit between halfway onto the cork and two thirds onto the cork. Your teacher can give you a bit more guidance as to where exactly you should place the mouthpiece on the cork. Some musicians and some saxophones needs to be this far in, and with certain musicians and certain saxophones, it needs to be quite a bit out on the cork. So to play it safe, twist it on carefully about half about halfway. If you look at the cork here, you'll see it's about halfway. Now, you might need to readjust your reed and ligature after that, as I am doing. And if you look down here, you'll see that the ligature and the mouthpiece are lined up flat in terms of angle with this key. So we don't want our mouthpiece like that. No, our teeth are supposed to go on the top. So keep the, keep your mouthpiece flat and aligned with the neck. All right. Now we've got our mouthpiece and reed on our neck. Give it a blow. If no sound comes out, once again, don't worry. We're just getting started. There we go. Finally, pick up the body of the instrument, the main portion of your saxophone. I like to pick it up from the bell so that I don't drop it. It's very easy to drop these instruments, so be careful. Once you've got it, take your neck and mouthpiece combination, the small end of the instrument, not the bell, the upper tendon. We're just gonna slide the neck joint and twist it gently until it goes all the way in to the body of the horn. Now, you might see that, oh, it's a little tight. Don't worry. There is a screw that determines how loose and easy it is to put the neck in. So loosen up this screw at the top of the instrument just a little bit and carefully slide your neck into the body of the horn. Once it's there, line it up so that it's not too far to the left, it's not too far to the right. It's nicely lined up with the bell of the instrument here. You all see that? The neck and mouthpiece are lined up with the bell. Once it's lined up, just twist that screw a little bit. It doesn't need to be too tight. Just twist it and then the neck will not move left or right. Now we have our saxophone fully assembled. Last but not least, we must deal with the neck strap. This is what holds our instrument up on our necks. We don't wanna, these instruments are quite heavy. Our neck should be doing the work. We don't wanna be holding it up with our hands. So go into your case and find the neck strap. Take it, put it over your neck, pick your horn back up. Now I want you all to look at the back of the instrument. So we're calling this the front, flip it over and look at the back. You will see if you look about halfway down, there is a ring here. This is where your neck strap clips onto. So, take your strap, clip, or in my case, I have a hook, slide your hook, neck strap hook through that ring, and then let the horn hang off your neck. Now, you'll notice this is a bit low. One of the main things I find that most beginners make mistakes with is having an incorrect neck strap height. So you want your neck strap to be bringing the mouthpiece right to your mouth. So you saw what I just did. I, bro I raised my neck strap up so that when I sit naturally and hold the horn, the mouthpiece is right with me. And that is how to assemble the saxophone. If you've liked what you've heard today, please hit that like button on the video, subscribe, and part two of this video series will be out shortly where we discuss how to get a sound on the instrument. We're gonna be talking about embouchure, your teeth, your lips, your tongue, your throat position, and most importantly, your air support. 
So stay tuned for part two of this series from Greater Toronto Music School on how to play the saxophone as a total beginner. Take care. Thank you.